Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and today we are going to watch Sticky play on Port Bay in his Emil 1. Now, immediately when you look at the matchmaking, you see the enemies only have one medium tank and they have two. And that's why um, uh, Sticky is going to write into the chat, they need to go left and I would have done exactly the same. As they can contest a very important position by crossing the river and create a very nice crossfire to destroy all of the enemies. Now the Amin one is one of these tanks that has a amazing turret and very nice gun depression. So Sticky is going to show you what position exactly you should use while going on the left hand side of this map. So he's activated his speed boost to get there first and to just hopefully be able to put in a whole magazine into one of the tanks that's going to cross and that is a little bit uh, less fast than he is. So he's just going forwards right now. And uh, the only dream he can have right now is that the enemy team is going to let him put a full magazine into them in just uh, under one minute into this game. So unfortunately for some reason it seems like the enemy team has decided not to go on the left hand side of the map. So there must be City which is very weird as in my opinion City is, very, is actually a worse place to be on this map than the left hand side of it when you spawn uh, on sticky side of the map. So he's just going and he's looking at the city and he's like, okay, well, mo surely they must all be there. But actually, no, the scorpions, he spotted him, but for some reason missed, probably because Sticky actually has great reaction and, this, and falls back just in time. And managed to also put an HE shell into the turret of the scorpion, so now he's going to aim, but unfortunately the shot goes a little bit low. And that's why he didn't pen the scorpion this time, and he's going to put one more shot, and then he needs to now fall back as fast as he can. Otherwise he's going to lose at least 490 alpha damage of his tank. And yes, actually the scorpion manages to pen him, which is an absolute disaster. Um, but actually it's not that bad as he managed to put his, well, two shells with HE of his magazine and one shell that unfortunately didn't bend. So now he's going to reload and just stay in cover and, for, and shoot the 2T weight in his turret and he's going to aim for the weak point, great marksmanship right there, shooting all three rounds into the weak point on the T28, which is shooting for some reason some premium round from a stock gun I suppose uh, but now Sticky is just staying into cover reloading and he's thinking about going back to his base and actually I think that's a right play as well they have plenty of time plenty of tanks uh, in the spawn of the enemies but they have no one in their base so he's going back to well not get flanked by the enemy team and this is just a dream scenario he's going to put one into the tiger B a second one into the Tiger B, his broadside, and then he's just going to be able to put one into the ice too. Very nice stuff right here. So now he's going to fall back and just reload and wait for, uh, well, his shells to get back into his magazine. So he's looking, and that's actually something that's great about this replay as well. He's also always looking where the enemy tanks are and where he should position himself and if he's not in an open position where they can shoot him. So now there's a Tiger coming up, Tiger 2, a very dangerous tank in the enemy team. He just put one ground very nicely in his side, the second one in his tracks, which also for some reason sets him on fire, but okay, I guess he will take that. And a third one, just annihilating that tier 8 uh, German super heavy from 1 to 0, from 100 to 0. And now he's going to reload and just going back once more to get into cover. Yes, Sticky, that's just a little bit of a misplay, but yeah, he gets away with it. He should have gotten back and not come back before he was reloaded. And now he's just in a perfect position, using all of the, the armor he has on his turret and just shooting the Tiger P. But at this moment, in my opinion, he should have tried to kill the Tiger 2 instead of the Tiger P, as the Tiger 2 is a much more... Uh, worst threat uh, to him right now and now he's just going to reload the Tiger 2 for some reason decides not to push him although in my opinion he sh definitely should have because when you have a auto loader that's reloading you should definitely take advantage of it and so now he's reloaded and he the Tiger 2 just got back for some reason and so Sticky is just going to go forward and uh, well give the Tiger his last demise so there he is the Tiger is right in front of him and he just shuts him down very nice play and now there are two tanks left, we don't quite see the HP of the ice 2 but there you go, he has 600 HP left, nicely aimed, one shot, and this is a pressure shot, he needs to get it, and there you go, he puts another one right into the turret of the ice 2 to destroy that tier 7 Russian tank. And so now it's just, there is just one uh, tank left, he has already 6k damage on the counter, even a, bit, a little bit more as he got the fires, and he's just going to reload while the projector is running around the map I don't know what he's doing but okay 
I guess he tries to get some distance between him and his enemies. But maybe he's going to be able to sneak one little shot over there, but actually no, it doesn't work out. So he's going to activate his speed boost most likely in just two seconds to try and catch up with that Rosetto and finish off the last remaining opponent on the enemy team. So there you go, he activated the speed boost, he's reloaded, he's a massive threat. Uh, he only has 600 HP left, but that means the Progetto needs to pen him three times to kill him. But there he is, very nice reaction. The Progetto, for some reason, didn't shot him, which is very, very good. So now he can just literally just go in and kill the guy. The Progetto, well, actually has a broken turret, so he didn't manage to kill him. And there you go, he just puts in the very last shot and gets a total of 6.8k damage in this tier 8 round. Uh, under six minutes very nice stuff here manages to get an ace tanker and a top gun and a high caliber as well so you see he has 1656 base experience points and he managed to bend all shots he fired which is absolutely great